This over here is WD SN 850X and everyone's heard about this NVMe. This over here is Orico 0700 NVMe and you might have heard of Orico before because they've done some enclosures before and even external SSDs but never an NVMe. Should you be paying extra $20 to go with the WD SN 850X or should you actually go with the Orico 0700? Let's find out. Licensing Windows is cheap and easy with whokeys.com and if you use the code TN20, you get an extra discount. <laughs> Complete the purchase, copy the key and paste it to the activation settings. And you're all done. Also check out their Microsoft Office 19 license and use the same code TN20 for the extra discount. Check out whokeys.com in the video description below. So what comes in the box? We have the NVMe and this is the two terabyte model here, which has chips only on the top side, nothing underneath. There's just a little sticker underneath and nothing. So if you have a laptop or a device that only has heatsink on the top, you're going to be completely fine. If you go with the likes of SN850X, then the four terabyte one, as you can see, has chips also on the bottom side. So you will have to have double sided cooling or heatsink if you want it properly cooled down. Now, I'm not sure if the four terabyte version of this Orico drive has chips also on the other side. Inside the box, we've got this. And then also you get a heatsink. So if you wanted to, you can make a heatsink around it and the heatsink is dual sided. So a little bit that goes on the top and one on the bottom. And then you basically sandwich it in between these thermal pads, which is a nice addition because usually you're going to have to pay extra for this. But for value, the Orico seems to be offering quite a lot. Now, before we go on to the benchmarks, there is one a very important thing that I need to mention. When looking at the specs online, especially when you go to Tech Power Up's website to actually check the Orico specs, you realize that there are a few different hardware versions of this Orico SSD out there, which means that the performance of this may vary. And I don't know which one I have in here, but basically if they slap a different controller on this M.2 SSD, you're probably not gonna get this performance or maybe someone else out there showed very good performance, but I'm getting worse performance. So just so you know, there is some evidence out there circulating that there might be different hardware versions of this available there. And I'm not sure which one I'm running. Is it the good one or the bad one? So in terms of sequential read speeds, which is not particularly, you know, amazing benchmark to check the drive's speeds with, but we can see that the Orico 2 terabyte model is actually a little bit faster than the 4 terabyte WD SN 850X. When looking at the sequential write speeds, you can see that the WD SN 850X is a few percent better, maybe four or five percent better at 6530 megabytes per second compared to just 6000. So extra roughly around 500 megabytes per second. And that can be due to the SN 850X having DRAM cache. The Orico model here, it doesn't use DRAM, it uses host memory buffer. Then let's take a look at quick system drive benchmark from a PC Mark 10. And this tests the test the drive as a secondary drive. So it's not running any programs or operating systems on it. It is just used as a secondary drive with little files, maybe photos, documents, you're opening, closing them and so on. And here, interestingly enough, the Orico is roughly about 1-2% better than the WD SN 850X. And DRAM cache here doesn't really show any real performance, but really the random read and write speeds and IOPS is where we see better drives perform better here. So some of the drives from Gen 4 that are one of the best are the Samsung 990 EVO and EVO Plus and Solidine P44 Pro these drives perform extremely well. Some of them with DRAM, some of them just using host memory buffer like the Samsung 990 EVO. And as you can see, the Gen 5 drives, they are a lot better because they have better controllers and the random read and write speeds of Gen 5 drives are quite a bit better. And the Crucial T705 is on top of the charge. Moving on to data drive benchmark. Here, interestingly, the Orico drive is about 3% faster than the SN850X which is interesting if you're storing more files on it and more like a data driven workflow where you're maybe more archival kind of workflow then the Orico drive actually interestingly performs a little bit better. Now next we have full system drive benchmark and this is arguably one of the best and most important 
benchmark that we can have because most likely these drives will be used as the operating or system drive in your PC system. And here we can see that the SN850X is actually quite a bit better than the Orico one. About 5% performance increase over the Orico one. So if you're looking for the best operating system drive here, the WD SN850X is better. And interestingly, it's nothing to do with the capacity here because the one terabyte SN850X performs actually slightly better than the four terabyte version. Now, at the same time, the performance difference is roughly about five, six percent, which is not as big of a difference as the price difference between these two drives. Now, looking at the drive consistency test, and this is where we're testing the drive in a very, very heavy workload. So if you're a creator who uses very large assets and perhaps you're in a studio where you're constantly ingesting projects of terabytes and terabytes of footage and you're driving and constantly hammering the drive and your drive is a project drive where maybe you later read all of these files as well and you're using this as project drive, then this benchmark here will show you which drives perform the best. This is a very synthetic test really because it's not one-on-one -on -one something that you would see in real life but we're writing over 20 terabytes of files onto the drive filling the drive on top of it at least three times and testing how good is the drive speed even after this sustained load for a very long time and usually what i'm seeing here is large drives and drives with dram cache perform a lot better than drives that don't have that and as you can see here a rico drive is one of the worst drives that I have tested here. In fact, it goes all the way down to almost Gen 3 drive speed. And if you look at the Samsung T9 4 terabyte drive, which is actually an external drive and is using USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 interface, which is not even NVMe or PCIe, that drive performs better than what we can see here which is just insane. So the Orico O7000 really falls apart in the consistency test. And as you can see, the WD SN850X is right on top of the chart of some of the most best performing drives that we have from Gen 3. You can see that the Samsung 980 Pro next to it and Solidime P44 Pro, which are some of the best drives that you can get right now for Gen 4. Now let's talk about terabyte written spec because in terms of endurance, it is five year warranty, but there is a but. Usually we have 600 terabytes per one terabyte, but Orico on their website states that the one terabyte NVMe has 300 terabyte written spec, which is half of what you usually see some of the other drives on the market, like the SN850X. Interestingly, when we move on to two terabyte drive, the terabyte written spec goes to 1200, which is the right spec you usually have double from one terabyte 600 to 1200 and the four terabyte one has a 2400 terabyte written spec but interestingly the lower end drives like the one terabyte 500 gigabyte drive they don't have exactly the best terabyte written spec which for me in my opinion puts a little bit of a question mark in the endurance of this drive but what about the conclusion then should you be buying the sn850x or the orico ssd in here if you look at purely the best bang for buck performance then the orico drive performs better in every single way you get a lot more for your money you get the heatsink, you get the cheaper price point. In fact, right now, I believe there is even a discount code available when I'm looking at the price on Amazon. So check it out in the video description below. But then at the same time, there is also deals for all the other drives. The SN850X is often on a deal and you can find it with a very similar price as the Orico drive. And when you can do that, always go with the SN850X. When it comes to these drives, I want a little bit of a peace of mind that this drive is just not going to go poof when using the drive. I'm not saying that the Orico drive is going to explode or is not as good as the SN850X, but the Orico drive doesn't have the same track record as the SN850X. And there is one more very annoying thing about the Orico drive. This drive has an LED light somewhere on the side here, I believe that's the one in there. And when you have this in your system, even underneath the heatsink, there is a green light that's going to start to flash inside your PC, which is really annoying. I don't need to know when you're going to be writing stuff on the SSD. Maybe in some workflows, this is, you know, good. But in a normal PC, if you have it on the table and you want 
to just have a glass in there. I don't think this is a very good option. Rico, I don't know why you did it. Maybe you can disable it somehow. So if you're asking me would I spend the extra $20 to get the SN850X compared to the Orico, I probably would because I'll wait for the deals and I'll be checking the deals out or checking some of the actual other drives that I've mentioned in some of these benchmarks. That's why I'm leaving the other ones on here as well. So you can check them out in the video description below and see maybe the Samsung is on a deal. Maybe the Solid Dime is on a deal. Maybe some of the other drives are on a deal that actually make it much better option for you. I'm glad that there's more and more guys that are entering the SSD and NVMe market to provide more NVMe's like this one. In terms of best bang for buck, the Orico gets the award. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.